This is Christian Music Network, and and I'm I'm Stephen Witkowski, and we're here with with, with Mr. Pickney for Virgil Pickney. So how are you doing? Man, I'm blessed, and I'm just happy to be here, man. How about yourself? Congratulations! Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Survived the Fourth uh, of July again, so. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's always crazy on the fourth. It was kind of quiet around here this year, so that was that really was maybe a good thing. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Wow, wow. Yeah, I was at my sister's neighborhood, and they're always shooting off fireworks and right. <laughs> and, and getting like, getting all the dogs upset and just like you know, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So I had comfort one of the dogs, you know, because she was so upset, she was shaking all over, and she's like, eh, right, right, you know, really, really upset. But yeah, yeah. So uh, tell me about yourself, man. All has been good. It's been a been a good year so far, as far as um, what I got going on, you know, music and ministry. It's been a it's been a good year, man. So I can't complain, man. I can't complain. Wonderful, wonderful. So how, how did you get into music? You know, that's that's a good question. I actually, I actually been doing music for for quite a while, man. My my mom was in the music. My dad was in the music. So I've always been around music. Um, I started out writing like poetry and poems just for like fun or or just things to like intertwine with the women. And um, and then people just start telling me, you know, you should take it more serious. You're pretty good. You got a good voice on and on and on and on. And um, before I even did Christian music, I had did, I had this secular music, but it was probably considered, they don't even have a genre no more. It used to be a genre called Positive Vibe. Oh, really? Wow, um, interesting. And that was kind of like in the lane that I was in. I never was in really into cursing and things like that. Um, and so, um, once I got out the military around 94, 95 is when, you know, I got presented with opportunity to continue to do secular music or start doing it for the kingdom of God. And, you know, as a Christian, I chose to do it for the kingdom of God. And then, you know, we just toyed with it for a little bit, still wasn't really trying to do anything serious with it. And, um, I got ordained as a pastor and then I kind of stopped doing the music. I just focused on the, the pastoral ship and, sure. you know, just the preaching aspect of things. And then um, about, about four or five years ago, I was having a conversation with my wife and uh, it led me to kind of telling her that I do music. She never knew. And, wow. and um, she was like, I think that's what you need to do. That's what makes you happy. And I think that's what you need to do. And, um, I, I started out my uh, my group. I was in a I'm I'm one half of a uh, Christian hip hop group called Grown Man Club. Shout out to my my brother Lamar Green, who's the other half. Cool. We, we dropped that album, and then now since then, in three years, I've dropped uh, counting this year, I dropped seven albums wow. since then. So awesome. awesome. Yeah, I've been I've been focused and busy since then. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. So yeah, you have some. Uh, songs there uh give a song called think not tell me about that so faint not which is the current single now off the new album the rebirth um that song it, it kind of comes from the uh, scripture galatians 6 9 where it tells us do not grow weary and well doing for in due time we shall reap if we faint not and um at the time when i wrote it you know it was a lot going on in the world um a lot of people around me were growing weary. A lot of people were walking away from the faith. You know, it's been some trying times the last two years since 2000, since the pandemic. And even for Christians, you've seen a lot of people walk away and you've seen a lot of people kind of struggle with their faith. So that song was just for, for people just to be encouraged and to understand that it's not over to God say so and, um, and to faint not. And so that was a special song my brother in TFL and my other brother in Anthony Desire joined me on the song and we went out to the desert and shot the video and I'm really happy with that one. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. 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 Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, our, our, our focus is always should be on, on the Lord, you know, yeah. you know, you know, that, you know, that no matter what happens, you know, you know, we have him as our 
anchor That's you know, as a, as the tower to go to. That's so, it. you know, we were just uh, just uh, just uh, doing a study on the Psalms 61, you right. know, you know, about that, you know. Yeah, and that's the beauty for me. That's the beauty, of, power, you know. That's the beauty of music for me, is being able to write a song like "Faint Not," and be able to share it with people at a time where their faith is trying, or, or, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. But sometimes it's easy to walk by sight and not necessarily by faith. Sure. And so. You know, even just with my Peculiar Creatures music ministry and just music for me as, as a whole, if you look at my body of work, you know, it's always more than just a song for me. And even sure. with like my song titles, changes come in, you know, past life, the songs, the way God uses me, it's always more than just music. You know, I I do a lot of a lot of this stuff for other people. And I mm -hmm. and I take that in mind when I'm writing. A right. lot of times it's not really what I'm going through or my perspective on things is to edify the body of Christ. That's one of the things that the Bible tells us to do among mm -hmm. sisters and brothers is to edify each other. And so I try to use my music as part of that edification. If that yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and music uh, 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 really helps you to remember things like in the scriptures and, you know, and, you know, and, and, and and even that yeah helps you focus too, you know, you know, that's which is pretty that's awesome. Why I think it, that's why I think it's important for a Christian artist that, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of times with me, I don't see a lot of ministry, especially in the Christian hip hop genre. You don't see a lot of ministry within the music, and that's very important for me. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it needs to have that ministry in it. Definitely. At the end yeah. of the day. We should be pointing people to salvation, to Christ. Exactly. Uh, to, to, to hold on to faith, to faint not, things of that nature. Not necessarily, I'm so great, look at me. This is what I got going on. And so as a Christian hip hop artist, I'm kind of disappointed with the genre as far as that, because it seems to be more of the latter than, it, than as far as the ministry. And the ministry aspect of it is the most important thing for me. Sure, um, certainly. If I ain't gonna have the ministry in it, if it's not gonna be about ministry, then I won't even do it. You know what I mean? Like for me, it's not even, it's not, it's, it's not about me getting self gratification out of it. I'm, I don't have the power to save anybody. I'm not. I don't, I don't have the power to extend no grace and mercy to nobody. Right, right. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, only Jesus. Yeah, yeah. only, yeah, only yeah, God. Yeah, only yeah God. and uh, we were talking about that. You know, the other night. You know that uh, that 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 salvation is only found. In Christ, that's it. You know, you know, you yeah. know, and and uh, and and nowhere else but but in Christ. That's it. Oh, you know, yeah, because He is the and, Savior. You know, and, you know, and and then, like I said in Psalm sixty-one, if you know, David point, points to Jesus, you so, know, you know, which is pretty awesome. You know, so He is so it's a not about, Lord, so it's Lord, not Lord about King of Kings. Yeah, it's no sort of no self gratification at all, at least for me. Yeah. Um, and that's big for me. So, so yeah. yeah. Amen. All right. Uh, you have the song "Chosen Few." Tell me about that. Yeah. So that, so that one. You know, we know that many are called, and and, and the chosen are few. So that right there was just an anthem. Um, shout out to Tone Jones who who gave me that track, man. That was just the anthem that I just wanted to, just to have fun with for the body, like. You know, we the chosen few, like, um, take pride in that. Like, take pride in being chosen. Take take pride in being peculiar. Too many times you see Christians and Christian artists, we're mimicking the world. You know, we're still trying to be, we're still trying to be accepted by the world when the world is supposed to hate us. And we're supposed to be right. of the world, but not necessarily in the world. Right. And so, as I said before, you know, everything for me is ministry. So. A song like Chosen Few was easy to kind of easy to do because I already I already I already look at myself as being chosen and being few. I already look at myself as being peculiar. So that was one that was real fun. I went back to my hometown, Long Beach, where I grew up playing basketball in Belmont Shores, the beach area, and shot it. So I was able to even, you know, bring my home city into it as well, Long Beach. And so 
that was a that was a real fun video and a very fun song for me as well. Yeah, <laughs> chosen oh, few. Oh. Very awesome. All oh, right, uh, you have the song "Past Life." So now that one, it kind of speaks for itself. That one was off my album that I had dropped right before the pandemic hit, called "The Cure," mm. and last year during the pandemic i was fortunate to have two number one songs changes coming and then past life it uh -huh. made it to number one on the r on the irc charts for independent uh, artists as well and that song is just basically about and shout out to brianna marine who sings the hook on that for me uh that song was just basically about you know a lot of times i know for me when i got saved when i was around family and, and old friends um, it was kind of hard for them to see me as the changed man and the man of God. Sometimes right. when we when we change, people only want to see us for who we was, or sure. who, we, you yeah. know, who we once was. And so people would try to hold you to your past. You know, you know, even when you hear when you date women, once a cheater, always a cheater, things like that. Yeah. And so it was important for me and that whole album during the pandemic, you know, the whole album, The Cure, was basically um, an album of of um getting people back focused on the main thing which is christ and mm -hmm. uh and you know not letting the one define you by your past not not letting one define you by your mistakes because when we repent and we get back in the right standing with god he holds none of our past against us exactly He's... and a lot of times you'll be surprised a lot of christians deal with condemnation yeah. and they deal with things like that because of the type of people that they're connected to or maybe they just don't know any better. So, you know, once again, you know, music is powerful and it's and it's and it's and its information is powerful. And I just believe that as a as a man of faith that I am and, and as an artist, it's really important that I do the right thing and send the right messages through my music. And so a song like Past Life, you know, I was grateful that it went number one. That means a lot of people got a chance to hear it. And I oh. just pray and hope that a lot of people uh, that that song ministered to them and that they wasn't from that point forward that they were no longer letting people define them by who they used to be or they past and right. that they could walk into the fulfillment of what God has them moving forward and that's that's very important yes yes and in the, the, the bible says as far as Jesus from us that's how far he he he, he throws away our sins and he throws yes. them into lake of forgetfulness that's it so and how dare people try to hold no more it's a, right. it, it's a clean slate, you know, you know, you know once you become a Christian, it's a clean slate, you That's know, it. you know, I mean, but, I mean, the only thing is that, that, that we have to keep our sins short, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and come back to God, you right. know, you know, you and know. it's just unfortunate, it's just unfortunate that uh, people will persecute us and and do those type of things but the bible told yeah. us that it would be like that you know what exactly. i mean so exactly so exactly so like i said it's good sometimes just to get a song like that just to remind you that um everything is okay you know yep. you're not who, you're not who they define you to be you if you're not that cheater no more then you're not that cheater no more walk walk in integrity you know walk walk in your holiness like you don't yeah. have to be defined by what people say and yeah, yeah, we're very proud of that. We're very, very, very proud of that song as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Certainly, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, uh, uh, um, so how how do we get your music? So the easiest, probably, the easiest way for just everything is my videos, my music, my teachings, and all that. It's probably my website www.mrpickney.com. And if that doesn't work for you, then any of your favorite digital outlets from Tidal to Apple to iTunes on every single one of them, we out there. So whether it's my website or your favorite digital outlet, um, you can get my music. And I got the new album, The Rebirth, um, which is Chosen Few is on that and Faint Not. We about to do the new video, the new single. I just sent out the new single to all the radio uh, last night for the uh, song called The Savior. And we're gonna shoot a video in about two weeks for that one. So that's what's next up. But The Rebirth, man, I recommend it. If you enjoy uh, hip hop and Christian and positive and and um, ministry and just all those things, 
uh, I definitely recommend the Rebirth, man. Not just because it's my album, but you know, um, like I said, if you're gonna do ministry and you're gonna do music, then it's important that we make sure that we're lifting up the name of Jesus and 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 pointing people to the cross and not necessarily ourselves. And I think that I, I did a pretty good job with that with that album. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And and, and people can contact you through your website. My website, or or you could email me directly, um, 777 Godson, and that's S U N at gmail.com. I'm available for you know ministry and music. I'm available for, for teaching and preaching because I'm a pastor as well. Sure. And I'm just available to pray with you and conversate with you. It doesn't have to be about uh, music or, or pastoral at all. It could just be about fellowshipping, it could just be about edification, it could just it could just be about, uh, you know, connecting and just um, edifying the body of Christ. But I'm available for all that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, do you do concerts? Yeah, um, I slowed down a little bit on the shows and stuff because, you know, my wife was getting ready to have a baby. Uh -huh. um, so now that we've had the baby, um, I'm going to take a little time and spend with the family, with the new baby. And then I'm going to start ramping up my conditioning and getting myself prepared to to get back out there and not only do concerts or, or ministry music, but also some preaching engagements. Um, I have two uh, TV shows that I that I do a proverb a day with Pastor Virgil Pickney and preaching in season with Pastor Virgil Pickney. So I, I stay pretty busy. <laughs> Whenever I'm not dealing with the music part, I still stay pretty busy, man. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So, so when you do concerts, what are they like? Um, I, I, I have a thing called the glory experience mm -hmm. and, um, that's what I, tr I, 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 with the help of the Holy spirit and God, of course, it's not my, my power or my might, but I will, I, I like to tell people that it's the glory experience. I know it's a hip hop genre and you don't consider a lot of people don't think of like worship and hip hop in the same breath, but I'm a worshiper by heart. Mm -hmm. If you take away the hip hop and the music, I'm, I'm a, I'm a man of faith and I'm a worshiper. So I try to I try to bring the worship and the hip hop. I try to bring it together. I tell people if you're looking just to party and all that, then I'm not I'm not your guy. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm not your guy. I'm awesome. not your artist. That's not the show to come to. But if you're looking to worship and to give God some glory, so that we can see the glory experience, so we that we can see the glory of God yeah. fall in the building, and where we can see miracles and we can see healing and deliverance take place, then I, I'm your guy. Awesome, awesome. So do you have any advice for other performers? Yeah, um, if you're a Christian artist and you're just getting started, man, I, I tell people this all the time and I will continue to say it. Um, you, you, you first have to be true to yourself before you can be true to anybody because there are people out there that have discernment and there, there are people out there that can see and they'll see through the, through the, through the procrastination They'll see through the BS. So just be true to yourself so that you can be true to others and just and just keep God first. As long as you're true to yourself and you keep God first, then and it really doesn't matter um, the perception of other people. You, you, you pleasing God and you being true to yourself. Everything else will fall in line. It, it can't get no realer than that. Awesome. So, so just be true to yourself. Keep your authenticity to yourself. Be true to yourself. So don't, you don't have to be like nobody else. You don't have to sound like nobody else. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. That's not what Procurior is about. Procurior is being the unfamiliar. So, yeah. so be true to yourself and, and then just keep God first. As long as you do those things, and then he will order your steps and everything will be fine. And that's, that's what's been working for me. I don't sound like no kind of other artist. Um, I don't, I don't want to sound like nobody else because I only can be who I am. And that's what I had to learn. I had to be true to myself and keep God first and know that everything that I do is pleasing to him. So then that way, whether people judge it or they don't understand it or they persecute me or they slander me or whatever they want to do, you know, you take the dart, it, it stings for a minute, but, but it doesn't weigh me one way or another uh, because I'm true to myself and I'm, and I'm making sure that I'm keeping it at, at the forefront of God. And as long as he's telling me that I'm doing fine and it's well done, then it doesn't matter what everybody else think or say anyway. 
Awesome. Good advice. So, yeah, yeah. I would like to thank you for coming on with us, my pleasure. Any last words? No, nah, man, I, I thank you for having me. It's been a long, long time coming. We've connected a while ago and I've been waiting to finally yes. be able to connect with you. And I'm grateful that you reached out to me, man. I thank you for having me on your platform. I pray that, you know, God continue to use you and continue to bless your platform to give independent artists like me a voice, man, to, to be able to share the good news of Christ, man. So I just thank you for having me, man. And, and um, I look forward to talking to you again, man. Yeah, certainly, 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 certainly. Well, God bless you in all you do, and uh, and and have a great night. I appreciate you, man. Great. Right. Okay. Bye. Blessings, man. Bye.